In our previous lecture videos, we were testing the claim that the proportion of high-income families in SLO equal 20%, middle-income families 50%, and low-income families 30%. That was our null hypothesis. HA is saying at least one of those hypothesized proportions differs. And so what we did is we found the p-value to be 0.051%. And if we compare that to a standard alpha level, our p-value would be less than alpha, which just like any other hypothesis test would give us evidence to support the alternative, that at least one of those hypothesized population proportions of family income differs. We don't know if it's the first one. We don't know if it's the last one. We don't know if it's the middle one. We don't know if two of them differ. We don't know if all three of them differ. All we're saying is we have evidence that at least one differs from what we expect. Now, this is typically what we would do with a hypothesis test. We have evidence that one differs, and then we'd say we're, we're done with this. However, can we use our knowledge of the test statistic to say anything else? And if so, why? Well, let's go back to our test statistic and think about this. If we think about our test, essentially what we kind of did was found individual test statistics. Our p-value was less than alpha. We had evidence at least one population proportion differs. What we can see is that the larger test statistic we had, the more evidence we had for HA. And one of our test statistics is really big. Thus, we can go inside our overall test statistic. Think of this as like your overall test statistic. We can go inside that 15.17 and break it down by to each group. The largest contributor to that test statistic was 10.42, which represents low income families. Because this is the biggest contributor, we would have evidence that at least low income families differ from what we expected. Right, we hypothesize that low income families equals 0 0.30 or 30%. But because it's the biggest contributor of our test statistic, and we know or we have evidence rather that at least one of these proportions differs, this should be our shining star. This should be at least one of our culprits, this low income. We can see here the biggest contributor to our test statistic will give us an indication of where there's a difference, right? So one thing we can do is look at the biggest contributor to our test statistic. Then we would have evidence that that population proportion differs from what we expected. So if we go back to our test statistic, we have evidence that the population proportion of low income differs from 0 0.30. Can we go a step further? Well, if you remember, we're comparing observed versus expected, right? We're comparing our observed frequencies versus our expected frequencies. That's how we're essentially testing this claim. And we observed 190 low income families, but we expected 240. So what we observed was less than what we expected. So because of this, we'll have evidence that the proportion of low income families is less than what we expected. Once we find our biggest culprit, we can then go inside that test statistic and compare what we observed to what we expected. And since we observed less than what we expected, we would have evidence that the proportion of low income families is less than what we expected. If our observed frequency was larger than what we expected, we'd have evidence the population proportion would be larger. We saw when our observed frequency was smaller, we'd have evidence the population pr proportion was smaller than what we expected. For our final conclusion, this is essentially what we would write at the end of the day. Not only did we have evidence at least one of these population proportions differs, since what we observed was less than what we expected, we have evidence the population proportion of low-income families is less than 30%. And this is all I expect from you in terms of the chi-squared conclusion. Yes, you can sometimes go in your test statistic and find the second largest, but we're not going to worry about this right now. All I want you to do is find the largest contributor, and that would be one of our proportions that we at least have evidence differs.